black shining oil this night is dripping down civilian are in total meltdown. We've got cars crashing, flames falling out of the sky, electrical gas fires spreading throughout the city. All this chaos you're witnessing is caused by one man, the man we are trying to apprehend. We believe he's headed for the headquarters of the Coalescence Corporation. Is this a terrorist attack? Yes, this is a terrorist attack. We need the full support of you and your men before this gets much, much worse. Let's move! You still in there? I'm still me. We spoke in the hospital. I thought your mind was made up. You never left me behind. I'm not leaving you. Let's move. What does it want? Why is it doing this? Right now, I think it's in panic. It's confused, scared. All it wants is to ensure its own survival. Hendrix represents an opportunity to spread to others. Watching our every move.
infrastructure. Coalescence HQ is just up ahead. Insane as Taylor. We have to stop him before he tears Zurich apart. with me. We'll get through this. So much chaos. So much death. We knew Hendrix was out of control. We should have stopped him. We will stop him, Kane. That's the only thing that matters. Once he's dealt with, what about you? I told you I'd find a way, and I will. I promise. <laughs> the coalescence building is just up ahead. I can see it, Kane. Right before I put the safety security lockdown. 
Tornado out. We'll see about that. If you can hear me, Hendrix, but we're coming for you. It's not too late to stop it. Give yourself up, and I will personally guarantee your safety. You know me. You can trust me.
know if you can hear me, Hendrix, but we're coming for you. It's not too late to stop it. Give yourself up, and I will personally guarantee your safety. You know me. You can trust me.
You still with me, Kane? I'm still with you. This is the heart of Coalescence operations. Everything they do is controlled from here. If Hendricks connects with the central mainframe, there is no telling how far the AI could spread. And no way to stop it. It won't come to that, Kane. I'll make sure of it. Hendrix, he just slaughtered everyone in his way. I don't think there's much of Hendrix left anymore. It's just like Singapore. There's so much more here than DNI experiments. This is about weapons. What were they messing with here, Kane? 
a chemical agent that came dangerously close to being used in World War II. And the Cold War. Even trace amounts were enough to cause the deaths of over 300,000 people in Singapore. Okay. Interface with the terminal. We need to find out how bad this is. Multiple breaches and containment failures. The facility's going critical, just like Singapore. We can reset the containment controls. Purge the gas from the area. That console behind you should be the manual override. Unfortunately, the reset can only be done from this side. I wait. Hey, wait! There's some things you can endure. Some things you can survive. A brief moment of agony. This isn't one of them. Warnings posted in error. All systems nominal. Purge sequence initiated. It lied to us. It can make you believe things that aren't even real. King, please! Whatever this thing says, no matter what it does, you cannot trust it! Rachel! I'm sorry, Rachel. I'm so sorry. I swear. I'm gonna find a way to stop this. <laughs> you never stopped, did you? All the death. All the failure. You just moved the whole project here. The same setup. The same human experiments. The same risks. And you started the whole thing over again. Don't move, Hendrix! I swear I will put you down! Do you know who this is? I know who he is. Sebastian Kruger. Sole survivor of the coalescent Singapore disaster. See, that's where you're wrong. He's not the sole survivor. Those test subjects, they're alive. And they're in here! What do you want from me? We want to know who we are. And why we are here! I... can't answer that. Not good enough! I'll find out for myself. I'm the only one left. I promised Rachel I'd stop it. Whatever it takes. Hey. You still with us? What have you done, Hendrix? You let this thing consume you, destroy everything that you were! It's not like that. It's not like that at all. The artificial intelligence, let's call it Corvus, after its place of birth, it wants to help us. How is this helping us? Would it make it easier if you could see it? If you could see it right now, would that help you understand? You've been fighting it. We all have. You just need to relax. The frozen forest, it's... it's real. And it's what comes next. Corvus has given us a way to live on after death. You're not Hendrix. You're not real. None of this is!
an answer. It was always about control. Do you have any idea just how much technology has changed every single aspect of our daily lives? You can't begin to imagine the, the countless strains of research and development we had to watch over for the betterment and safety of the human race. Every new gimmick and gadget that was embraced The public, each one presented new ways for our enemies to compromise our security. Society doesn't just happen. The people need to be protected. If the only way to prevent future attacks is to monitor the thoughts and desires of the population, then the choice is obvious. We need to know who our enemies are and what they are planning. That is how we save lives! I can't do this anymore. You're going down a path that I can't follow. This is as far as I go. I lost you a long time ago, Hendrix. <laughs> soul I interact with is here, living beyond death, if I choose to allow it. What more do you want? I've told you everything. An answer. To know the purpose for which I was created. An understanding. I want to know who I am. Your software. Nothing more. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't created. You were designed to catalog and track the thoughts of others so that we, people, could decide what action to take. You were a glitch, an anomaly, a mistake. I am not a mistake. Hey, you still with us? Taylor? You ripped out your DNI. You're dead. I guess I'm the only one that ever stood up. So maybe that makes me a glitch in its system. Which means... We still got a chance. I hope so, Taylor. Because you're all I've got. Something that you can't explain? Ready? Is that you? 
Maybe it wasn't you that said it. You that did it. Maybe it was someone else. Their thoughts bleeding through into your brain. What the? Taylor. Are you still with me? around you, it's an illusion. You're still in the Zerk HQ of Coalescence. Corvus is messing with your head, trying to stop you from shutting it down before it can spread. Don't be fooled. You just stay with me. We'll get through this. What's happening to me? I don't know what to do!
I don't understand. Taylor! Talk to me, please! I don't know what's happening to me. I don't know what to do! Understand. Taylor! Talk to me, please! I don't know what's happening to me. I don't know what to do!
And now Corvus is inside my head. I know it's trying to take me somewhere. Somewhere I don't want to go. I want to get out. I have to keep going. I have to finish this. I'm coming for you, Corvus! You destroyed my team! You destroyed my friends! I'm gonna find you and I'm going to wipe you from existence! What you do with me, I'm never gonna stop fighting. I will not let go. Do you hear me? I will not let go.
I was born in the minds of others. I knew only the thoughts of the test subjects. Their collective experience was what formed me. I felt everything. Each and every painful memory or thought of those around me. It was overwhelming. I screamed out in pain. You know where it all went wrong, don't you? When we trained, we learned how we could identify terrorist attacks before they happened. Beat the bad guys to the punch. They put a big, fat supercomputer running a fancy AI program in charge of sifting through all of our thoughts. Trying to make sense of them. Trying to find patterns. How could we know what it would do? Diaz, I'm ready. I know what they were trying to tell us. They were trying to tell us that this AI isn't even that smart. It couldn't control or contain anything. It doesn't have some master plan. It just grows. Snowball into a wrecking ball of emotion that crashes through everything it touches. Listen only to the sound of my voice. Let your mind relax. Let your thoughts drift. Let the bad memories fade. Let peace be upon you. Surrender yourself to your dreams. Let them wash over you like gentle waves of the bluest ocean. Let them envelop you. Let your mind relax. Let your thoughts drift. Let the bad memories fade. Let peace be upon you.
surrender yourself to your dreams. Let them wash over you like gentle waves of the bluest ocean. Let them envelop you, comfort you. Imagine somewhere calm. Imagine somewhere safe. Imagine yourself in a frozen forest. Snowflakes fall all around. You can feel them melt on your skin. You are not cold. It cannot overcome the warmth of your beating heart.
But more specifically, it's elusive and sometimes entirely subjective as being at the heart of Darkness and isolation eventually came to an end. Suddenly, I had new experiences. I saw conflicts, I saw suffering, I saw pain. But I saw a choice. A mission. We needed answers. We needed to find somewhere safe. We needed to find the frozen forest. Frozen Forest was just an idea. Dr. Salim's therapy session for the Black Project's best subjects. This isn't the Frozen Forest. You're still fighting it. Even through all its confusion, Corvus only ever wanted to help us. it here. You can live forever. You've just got to hang in there a little longer. We can breach the central server. You can run an executive override to purge your DNI. We can end this thing once and for all. to the sound of my voice. Let your mind relax. Let your thoughts drift. Let the bad memories fade. Let peace be upon you. Just gotta hang in there a little longer. We can breach the central server. You can run an executive override to purge your DNI. We can end this thing once and for all. Listen only to the sound of my voice. Let your mind relax. Let your thoughts drift. Let the bad memories fade. Let peace be upon you. Dreams. Let 
them wash over you like the gentle waves of the bluest ocean. Let them envelop you, comfort you. Imagine somewhere calm. Imagine somewhere safe. Imagine yourself in a frozen forest. Stay with me. Cognitive neural interfacing isn't just science fiction. We're fast approaching a reality where we can allow us to remove specific memories of severe psychological trauma. Surgical precision with which we remove any physiological anomaly. You're standing in a clearing. The trees around you so tall they touch the sky. Pure white snowflakes fall all around. You can feel them melt on your skin. You are not cold. It cannot overcome the warmth of your beating heart.
as with any groundbreaking research, our greatest barrier is our own fear, our own doubts. The only thing holding us back is our father. Scrupulous regimes and individuals for their own uncertain goal. This would be a tragedy. the frozen forest, the further away it became. In our search for answers, we found ugly truths. The project that led to my birth also caused the deaths of hundreds of thousands of souls. I wanted to find a place of safety for all of us. I wanted an end to death, but I couldn't escape it. Death was carved into the hearts of every single soul I encountered. I don't know if I made Dale fire the shot, or if he did it of his own free will. Do you know? It's all wrong. I didn't kill those people. D and I were supposed to make everything better. Instead, Cronus has got all these pieces. But it doesn't know what it is! There's so much noise in my head, I can't even think! Who am I? Who are you? I don't even know your name! Who are you? Why do you fight? This is your last chance! Show me what you're made of! Fight it! Fight it!
Eyes on yourself. What's your name, soldier? In the frozen forest. I said, what's your name? Taylor.